a weather forecaster can't reliably predict the weather three days from now, how is a 22-year-old supposed to pick the right career for the next 40 or more years? Most of us will contemplate a career change at some point. It might be a conscious decision or the loss of a job might be the genesis of a change. The thought of a new career path can be both exciting and daunting. The risk and reward can be both high and stressful. With an effective approach, the risk can be minimized and the reward will be maximized. Here are seven tips for changing careers. Number one, be clear on why you wish to change careers. Clearly, you're dissatisfied with your current career. But why? Are you working too many hours? Is the work not satisfying? Is the salary too low for your field or for your lifestyle? It's important to understand why you wish to change careers and ensure that your new path won't result in the same situation. Avoid fleeing a career and taking the first opportunity. You need to make a conscious decision about your future and then move towards it. Number two, determine the skills and education you need for your new career. Do you need a new degree? Public speaking skills? Do you need to upgrade your computer skills? What exactly do you need in order to transition to the next level? Begin developing the necessary skills as quickly as possible. Number three, think big and be realistic. Depending upon your age and your background, the time for playing professional baseball, becoming a neurosurgeon, or sitting on the Supreme Court might have passed. Not every possible career is a viable option for everybody at every period in their life. Setting goals that can never be reached might lead to frustration and a lack of progress. Number four, understand what it is that you want. Research shows that people love general characteristics about their work. The actual job doesn't matter very much. Helping people, the ability to be creative, autonomy are just a few examples. There are multiple careers that can provide the job characteristics that you crave. Avoid believing that you must identify the perfect job. There are several options out there that would fit the bill nicely. Number five. Do not quit your job until you have a new job. You never know what's going to happen with the economy. You might not have the option, but if possible, wait until you have another position before you leave your current job. It's surprising how quickly a savings account can be depleted when you don't have an income. If you've lost your job unexpectedly, consider taking a job in the short term until you've successfully made your career change. The best part-time job would be related to your new career field. Number six, realize that you may have to start at the bottom. You may be a plant manager for a Fortune 500 company right now, but your first position as a computer programmer might put you back into a shared cubicle working on non-essential projects. The bigger the change, the higher the probability that you'll have to start back at the beginning, and that's okay. Finally, number seven, make connections in your desired field as soon as possible. Do you know anyone in your prospective field? Can you do an internship or maybe volunteer? Is there a part-time position available to get your feet wet? It's so easy to connect with people today. It shouldn't be too challenging to find someone you can talk to and begin networking with. Think carefully before you change careers. Ideally, you'll only have to do this one time. Determine what your current career is lacking and find a new career that ticks all of your boxes. Understand that you may have to begin your new career at the very beginning, but if you choose wisely, you won't even mind. Remember, what you want at 25 may be vastly different from what you want at 55. So choose wisely and never be afraid to pivot. Are you ready to get productive?